I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 110 and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can repaste and clean up your internal of your laptop. If yours is running a little hard or you just want to repaste and service it, this video is for you. The exact model for this one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 110-14 IBR. The model name is an 80 D6. That information can be found inside the BIOS or on the box or on the sticker on the bottom of the laptop. All right. Just remember by doing a repaste and cleaning, you're not going to change any settings in the windows. It's just going to be all the same way that you left. All right. So we're going to get started. I'm going to cover up the tools that I'll be using so you guys can purchase yours. Tool number one and a very most important one is an alcohol. It's a 99%, 98% isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. Second tool is a workshop towel. One, that's my word, last piece right there. So one sheet of the workshop towel is very important because the reason I use workshop towel, not any microfiber or anything like that, because as soon as you put an alcohol on top of this one and you want to clean the board or the capacitors, it will rip apart really easy and it will prevent damaging the components, the tiny capacitors on the CPU or GPU. So that's why I always recommend this one. A good thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX4. These are really suitable for these models. You can go with the Arctic MX6, or if you want to go overkill, go with the Thermal Grizzly Fire Nut. But in this case, I'll be using this. Also, you need a good screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set, as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We are going to be using a Phillips number one. And if you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this on hand, you're going to get it started. So first thing first, you want to turn it off, power it off, flip it upside down, and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws on the bottom cover. Mine is missing one screw right here. So you're going to remove all the screws, starting from one corner, and keep them in a single pile, as all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right. Now you're almost done taking all the screws. What you want to do next is slide out the DVD drive right here. And we are missing one screw right in here. The base is broken, so remove the three screws in here. These are flat head screws, so you cannot put them anywhere else. Once you're done with that, you want to grab your, well, I missed one screw on the bottom. Always make sure that you are not missing any screw because you don't want to force when you're opening the case. Double check. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover, and you just want to twist it, just wiggling down there, like that. Go towards the DVD drive, go under the DVD drive under this black cover, back to the corner here. Once you did this front side towards the DVD drive, all the corner, put your hand in on the battery and lift it up, bring it up, and scoop it, push it a little bit towards the DVD, towards the HDMI port. So you can scoop that side out. You don't want to lift up from this side up. All right, that's the bottom cover. You can take it outside and clean it up. And right away, we can see that this is not a laptop. This is just a tablet with a keyboard and a screen. That's what it is, pretty much. There's no fan, heat sink. I mean, a tube heat sink or stuff like that, proper heat sink. It's just a heat spreader right on top. Uh, Wi-Fi board, you can upgrade the storage, and you can add a DVD drive if you want. Alright, first thing first, we're going to disconnect the battery. We're going to slide this connector backward. These cables are really tough, so don't worry about it. Just pull it back. Now, we're going to remove four screws that touches this heat plate right in the middle. So, loosen up the screws. The screws have a little C-lock on them. The C-lock, what it is, it will prevent the screws from coming out entirely. You just pretty much have to loosen, loosen them up. And then you can just lift up this pit plate right there. The C-locks are right in there. That holds the screws from coming out completely. And I can see the thermal paste is dried out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an alcohol right on the towel. 
and we are going to wipe over the CPU nicely. Don't be afraid. If you put alcohol, you see the, the towel it rips apart and it will not damage the component, the tiny capacitors around the CPU. Just clean it up nicely, clean up the heat sink. You want to grab one drop of the thermal paste, put it right on the mid on the die. Remember that thermal paste is not conductive, so don't worry about putting too much. Just put one blob right in the middle. Now you want to bring this heat sink over and set it down. Just gently hold it, don't press too hard, and cross screw the screws right in them. Just put one and one across it. You can follow the number, they have a tiny number, or you can just Four, three, two, one, or one, two, three, four, doesn't matter as long as you cross a screw there. And there we have it. And one last thing would be to just grab the connector for the battery, slide it evenly inside the connector. And there we have it. Now, next is just to grab the bottom cover, scoop down in 45 degree angle the USB port and HDMI side in there, hold it down, push the rest and let go and push it down. You want to hear those click sounds, that's what you want to hear. And one last thing is to put the screws under the DD drive and then the rest of the screws all over the place. Also remember, if you power on the laptop and it says it cannot find the windows, it cannot boot up, it's because as soon as you unplug the battery, the BIOS will reset to the default mode. And if your Windows was installed on a UEFI mode, it will not boot to the windows. I'll show you in a second how to change that. If you power on the laptop, it turns and goes to the windows. Don't worry about it, don't do anything. But if you power on and it does, gives you something that there's no boot drive or stuff like that, just keep watching the videos and I'll show you how to fix that. If you power on and it doesn't go to the windows, you want to hold down for five seconds to power it completely. And then what you want to do, you want to power it on, hold down function and press F2, F1, escape like this, three of them randomly. And it should take you, this says no boot device, so don't worry about it. Just press Control, Alt, Delete. Again, press F2, F1 and escape with a function. And it should take you right there to the um, BIOS menu. Inside the BIOS, you want to go to the boot tab right there. Inside the boot tab, you want to change the boot mode. If yours is set down to legacy support, you want to change it back to enter to UEFI mode. There you go. But it shouldn't happen. This should not happen to you. And if it does, that means your boot mode was reset to a default. Change it, exit, save and exit, exit, save changes, and you'll be inside the window with no problem. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.